Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Unreal Engine crash with Outcast, a new beginning game on your Windows computer. So the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to unplug external devices. So if you are using these devices, you can disconnect these devices. If you have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application running or services running in task manager, you can close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running or GE Force experience running, close. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Revertuner or any other overclocking application, close the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Click on apply, click on OK and then you will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have any online storage uh, application running like OneDrive or Google Drive, you can close it. Now remove the undervolt. So if, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files x86. Now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Open O2 folder. Over here you will find the O2 folder. So open this outcast a new beginning folder. Now select the game exe file. Now click on open. Now again click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Now open this O2 folder and then binaries win64. Select this exe file. Now click on open and then type in control panel in window search box and then click on control panel and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, browse, and then again open the game folder and then select this exe file, click on open. Again, now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once it is added, again click on allow another app, browse, and then O2 binaries win64. Select this exe file, now click on open, now click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on OK, and then launch the game. Now the next step is to select DirectX 11 uh, or DirectX 12 when launching the game. So when you launch the game from Steam, you will see a prompt with select DirectX 12. Uh, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try play DirectX 12 and then click on play. If that does not work, you can select play DirectX 11 and then click on play and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab. Now over here, put a check on the box. This is run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, again make a right click properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8 and then click on apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, then this time put a check on disable full screen optimization, click on apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, open this O2 folder and do the same thing with this exe file. Make a right click select properties and then put a check on run this program as an administrator apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work uh, you can try windows 8 
If that does not work, you can try Windows 7. Put a check on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click launch the game. Now it's still not working in that case. When you check all these boxes not working, then uncheck all these boxes. And then click on apply, click on OK. Go back and do the same thing with the first exe file. Make a right click, select properties, uncheck all these boxes. Apply, OK and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, Go to the general tab in the launch option, type in dash DX12. Type in this, now launch the game and then check if that does not work. This time try dash DX11 and then check. Now still not working. In that case, make a right click, select properties and remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm, I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now select your product type. Make sure that you select the right product type. For me, it's G4. Select the right series. For me, it's 30 series. So make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search and then scroll down. The latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.76. So whichever is the latest graphic driver over here, whichever, whichever is the latest one, you can click on get download and then click on download now. Now, once the download is complete, uh, run this exe file and then click on OK and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option. Make sure that you select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let first of all, it will uninstall the previous driver and then it will do a clean installation of the latest graphic card driver. And once that is done, once this process is complete, then restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows set box and then click on graphic settings and then go to browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open this o2 folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to create a backup of create a backup and delete the save game files now before you delete the save game file let me inform you this will result in loss of game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files or you can rename the save game files now for this open file explorer in the computer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items, and then open app data folder, local folder, O2 folder. You can just rename this O2 folder. You can make a right click and then click on O2.old, and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can just delete this O2 folder. And once you delete, now launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, 
Now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and download x64. You have to download both x86 and x64. Now run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download the second file as well that is x64 and then run this exe file as well. And let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete then restart your computer. Now run the second exe file that is x64 and then again if you see the repair option click on repair. If you see the install option click on install. And once both the files are installed Restart the computer. Restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. So open windows settings go to windows update or update and security. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have Asus computer, go to Asus website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available. Now, before you update the system BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery only computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first and avoid using Alt tab when you're playing the game. So if you're not able to launch the game, you can just skip this step. So if you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and lower down gra graphic settings. So if everything, all the video settings is set to high, then you can set it to medium or low quality and then check. Now the last tip is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. 
So if nothing is working, you can simply make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then reinstall the game to different drive. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.